I just want what Newton wants. To reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Active volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... We're the Scientific American, talking about evolution. And can humans outsmart extinction? The answer is yes. Right now, I'd say it's looking pretty grim. I think the bigger question is, can humans outsmart their mind masters? You know, the ones who are totally in control of the media and are forcing you, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, black lives, all lives, gay lives, straight lives, Muslim lives, Christian lives, matter stories, every day, all day. It's like they're shoveling shit straight into your brain, bro. And so we went from the late 90s, where everybody believed we were on the cusp of world peace. All the greatest pop stars of all time even got together to sing and celebrate about it. We are the world. We are all Earth's children. And that 2001 hit. And we went down the crapper real fast, man. Like somebody had slicked that thing up, man. And now everybody's pessimistic, angry, upset, offended. So we are using none of our energy or our resources on preventing human extinction. I think that's really weird because, I don't know, fiat currencies, which is what the dollar is, have a shelf life of about 40 years before they explode. And so, at some point, the dollar is going to explode. And if we do not have a plan in place, we're going to have lawlessness and big trouble everywhere. That's just one of the many problems we have. So it's like we're all standing around, stabbing each other in the back, putting people down on social media when we should be lifting each other up, remembering what it is that brings us together, and finally becoming an Earth United family. That's my opinion. All we really got to give up is our dumbass attitude. And as C.S. Lewis said, the next form of evolution is the human mind. When we begin to understand our potential and how easy and beneficial it would be to create a system where everyone can prosper and just be. Because last time I checked, nobody here asked to be born. And that when you're born and you become an adult, you need to make about $25,000 a year to survive. Minimum. You know? What a deal, you know? Like, it's like you're born. And they're like, okay, now you're going to have to pretty much figure out from age 18... 68, how to make about a million dollars just to live. I don't think at this point anyone is saying capitalism is totally fair. Probably even close to it. Though, the Huffington Post and most media sites will write articles all day, every day on how the world should be fair. Even though we know the basis of capitalism is anti-fair. You do what you can to make that dollar. Right? That's the point. Anyway, let's read the article. Can humans outsmart extinction? If we do it right, we could become a long-term stabilizing force for the planet. I agree. But who wants to do it right these days? Other than me. And maybe you. Okay, let's go. The biggest debate among experts on the Anthropocene is when exactly a geological epoch marked by humanity's influence began. As an astrobiologist who studies major historical transitions in planetary evolution, I am more interested in another question. When and how will the Anthropocene end? Purchase to read more. What the hell? Oh, this is Scientific American. We always got to double pay for your freaking science. It's kind of like when science worked with oil companies for 100 years and then turned around and said, hey, you caused climate change. Now pay a $5 trillion carbon tax. It's penalty. And then I'm like, hey, didn't you work with oil companies for like 100 years? Putting us in this position. And then science is like, shut up. I do not have time to answer that question. Climate change denier. I'm like, hey, dude, I ain't, I ain't denying the climate's changing. It's changing, you know. Anywho. So I got to pay seven bucks to read this article. I guess now we'll never know, man. I guess that means we're screwed. Oh. All right. Is there any way we can get around this? <sighs> See why Singapore is smart. I don't know, maybe because it's a phone now? I ain't been there. Maybe Singapore has become a telephone. And it's a smartphone. Ooh, did this... Maybe they ripped it off. Nope. Okay. I don't know. Is this irony? Or am I making a point? Maybe I'm making a point, you know? Because I want to find out if we can... have smart extinction. But I got to or to pay for the answer. There you go. I guess to be continued. Asterisk. Alright. <laughs> Peace out. But whether you believe it or not, I'm definitely the biggest fan of finding a system greater than any system ever created, one that will last a thousand years, and being the heroic generation that set Earth United on the course destined for awesomeness. Anyway, peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Thor News presents